Right guys, Will here from ZaltetReviews.com You're probably looking at the thumbnail and thinking, what's this guy smoking? Smoking! Well, let me tell you a wee story first. As I'm a huge fan of the Christopher Ward C63 Sealander series. I love them. And to be honest with you, I think it's actually the benchmark of sports watches at about the thousand pound kind of mark, thereabouts. Now, I've actually, I've, I've bought, I think, seven, maybe eight, maybe more <laughs> of the Sealanders. I've bought the normal automatic in various colours. I've also bought the GMT, and I've had that in different colours as well. So, now, before I go any further, I'm not, I'm not uh, a Christopher Ward fanboy. Uh, it's, I mean, uh, their divers are nice, and, you know, the 12, I've still not reviewed that yet. Um, but the C63 Sealander, I think, is outstanding. So, for me to make the claim in my thumbnail, it's going to have to be something special. Now, this watch that I'm going to show you is, I'm comparing it to the normal Sealander automatic, not the GMT. The GMT is different. A lot different, better movement, various other things, right? So, remember that when I show you this watch that I'm comparing it to the Sealander Automatic. Right, I'll show you in a minute after this. Right, guys. Well, hang on, I put my glove on. Right, the watch that I think that is comparable to the C63 Sealander Automatic is this. Now, you're probably thinking, who, who the hell are Nomadic? It's a micro brand from Belfast. Now, there's a lot of detail in this watch and a lot that makes this slightly more expensive than the Sealander Automatic. Talking of which, the price of these are 1,265 US dollars, which equates to about a thousand pound, give or take. So, the model, uh, the model is the Nomadic Turas 914. And they call it the Expedition Sports Watch. Now, this is the packaging that it comes in. It's a full, it's a right, like canvas, no canvas. It's a nice pouch and the watch is very secure and protected in this. Before I show you the watch, I'm going to show you what you get with it. Now, Built in Belfast. And there's your warranty details when you purchase the watch, blah, blah, blah. Then this is more details of the... What? The Tourist 914. Right, Tourist. Tourist, we'll call it the Tourist 914. Uh, an introduction about... Oh, it's a bit of guarantee. Right, leave that there. Then you get a thank you card for your purchase. Uh, thank you for your purchase. Please tag us on social media and leave a review of your nomadic experience. Fine, fair enough. Well, I'm not leaving the review. This is my review. Then you get like an insight into the brand... And I know they do a really nice dive watch. I'll 
I will try my hardest to try and get one of the dive watches in. Uh, it's like a history thing and about Belfast and all the rest of this stuff. The, the Tourist 914 specifications are listed out. Various pictures. Fine, fair enough. And that's basically that. That's how your paperwork. So... Let's get back to the the um, watch itself. Right, let me see. Hang on. All right. Right, in there on a nice little cushion. Obviously, I've wore this watch, so all the protective plastic and everything else is. Removed. Right, let me take it off that cushion. Right, what I'm going to do is run through the specs and I'll give you my thoughts at the end and whether I think it's better than the Christopher Ward. Right, case diameter, 39.1 millimetres. Total thickness of 10.2 millimetres. Lug to lug, 46.4 millimetres. And it has a 20 mil lug width. The total weight of the Tourist 914, uh, sized up for my 6.8 inch wrist, is... 139 grams lovely jubbly I like the measurements right the movement inside it it is a fully regulated Solita SW200-1 4 hertz smooth sweep blah 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 28,800 vibrations an hour hackable self winding with a 38 hour power reserve and when I say this is fully regulated, I mean it, I stuck this on the time grapher, and plus minus zero. You can't get any better than that. Whether it was specially regulated for me, I highly doubt it. Um, I believe they regulate every single movement before shipping the watch. The quality control, amazing. Uh, oh, and by the way, these, the entire watch, all right, the movement is Swiss, but the entire watch is hand-built in Belfast. Now, something I forgot to show you that I did see on this paperwork somewhere. Right, there it is. This watch was hand-built by Michael Rowan, nomadic master watchmaker. And believe me, I've absolutely no issues with this watch whatsoever. That's why I'm comparing it to the Christopher Ward. But there is, I mean, it's as I said earlier, it's a wee bit more expensive than the, the Sealander Automatic. But you are getting, it's no like the Christopher Ward, I mean, the tolerances of the movement, I mean, the the ones I've had haven't been bad, but there is quite a, a big fluctuation between, you know, what's allowed in their movements, and they're not regulated by Christopher Ward either, whereas this one is. Right, I've done the movement. The case itself is brushed and polished 316L stainless steel, and... The finishing, the quality of the finishing is superb. There's no other word for it. Brushed on the sides, 
polished chamfered edge along the top there, down over the lugs, brushed on top, right across, and obviously the mirrors on the other side are the same. The bezel is fixed and fully polished, but it is stepped. You'll see there's like you've got that 45 degree angle, then vertical, and the quality of the polishing is easily the same as Christopher Ward. The quality of the entire finishing of the watch is the same as Christopher Ward. Uh, right, the bracelet, it's a three link, uh, but what I like this better is female end links. Solid links throughout, screw pins for sizing, and then when you do go to size it, the quality of the screws are, they, they go in and out, like, machine perfectly. Buttery smooth. You could tell, as soon as you get a watch, and you go to size it, say it's on a stainless steel bracelet, you go to size it, you can tell straight away whether it's good quality or not. As soon as you start fiddling with the screws and stuff, well, this is superb. Now, I have been wearing it, but I did try and clean it as best as I can. You've got the nomadic there, the logo on the uh, bridge hand there. Coming to the clasp itself, really nice. Fully brushed, the logo is in the right hand corner, which I do like. It's no like splattered all over the the clasps itself. It's fully milled. That's both parts. And there's also on the fly adjustment. And it, I have seen this design before. But they're not all equal. Let me zoom in a bit. Oh, I can't get that bit to focus. But as I say, I have seen that design before and they're not all equal though. Some of them are, are a bit fiddly or it doesn't slide, you know, smoothly or anything like that. Whereas this one does. As soon as I go to use it, ah, oh, brilliant. So, one up from me. Uh, crystal. Obviously sapphire, flat sapphire, with loads of underside AR coatings. I have not had an issue at all with legibility. Now, on to the dial. The dial is the star of the show. You can see that here. I mean, that, that's, that's a beautiful texture. Make sure there's no dust in it. It's only when I go to play the thing back after I recorded that you see bits of dust that you can't see through the camera. Anyway, aye, beautiful, beautiful. Now, you're looking at this and it's, see the, the buttons and the arabics. They're always legible because they're filled in black, which is perfect for a white dial. And you're thinking, oh, they must be sacrificing the loom. They're not. Because if you look closely, the arabics and buttons, they're actually roomed, eh, loomed around the edge. Which I haven't seen in a white dial before. And to me, it makes perfect sense. Because in the daylight, it's perfectly legible. You mean, they've not stuck... Uh, silver buttons and arabics and silver hands on a white dial that's pointless it really is pointless uh, because there's no contrast there right the text on the dial the nomadic thing is actually embossed you can see it is raised slightly and it's the exact same with the model and automatic there above the six. Below the six you've got Made in Belfast. A proud. Proud to be Belfast born. 
and quite rightly so. Just like I'm proud to be Scottish. But they'll never take our freedom! Sword hands, by the way, I forgot to mention that. The second hand is white. I think it's white. Or is it yellow? Oh, it looks yellow there, doesn't it? Aye, yellow then. Uh, with a black uh, counterbalance. And the hands are black in the centre. Sword hands with the uh, black surround. Looks fantastic. I'll just let you have a closer look at that. It's really, really nice. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Right, next. The loom on it is Swiss Super Luminova BGW9 and it's grey day. Which I'm very happy about. I'll show you a loom shot. Uh, hopefully it comes out quite well. Uh, the loom is the same strength practically on the whole watch. However, because you've got the loom on the battens and the arabics, it's quite a thin, there isn't a lot of real estate there to get, you know, dive watch levels of loom. Uh, aye, but I like the approach. This is a sports watch after all, it's not a dive watch. Talking of which, water resistance on this, 100 metres, Perfect. It's a sports watch. You can easily go swimming with this. No problem at all. Right, the case back. I did actually take some B-roll with the case back, so if this it probably wouldn't come across right. Because I'm not taking the bracelet off again. Because I took the bracelet off to show you in the B-roll what it's like. And it's very nice. Uh, custom rotor and all that with nice finishing on it. Really, really nice. Basic specs on the edge and really smooth as well. So, sits perfect on the wrist. Uh, the crown is signed, obviously. Screw down as well. Very, very nice. Uh, the size of it is 6.5mm. Which is pretty much bang on perfect for this. Look at that profile. Gorgeous. You can actually buy these now. There's no pre-order. There's no Kickstarter. None of that shit. Which is great. You can go and order it. And it'll be shipped out to you straight away. Colour options by the way. I forgot to mention that. There's two colour options. You've got this a uh, white one, right, what do they call this, white out, and there's also a black version which is they call black ice, obviously I would have took, I've showed you loads of pictures and that, the loom on the black version is obviously better than the white version because they haven't done the surrounds in loom, they've done like the full arabics with the loom and it looks really nice. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, warranty. <coughs> Excuse me. Aye, the warranty. Two years international. Now, what do I think of this watch? I like the detail on it. I love the dial. I think the dial is better than the Christopher Ward. There's a lot more texture. Um... And they've done the. I'm so glad that they just. A lot of brands will just take. They'll do a white dial, they'll do a black dial, and maybe do a blue dial or whatever. And all they do is they make the base the watch on like the black dial, and then copy and paste basically all the details onto a white dial, which is the totally wrong approach. Anyone that knows me, look at my Instagram, look at all the reviews I've done. I'm a white dial slut. That's my nickname, by the way. That's what they keep calling me on socials. 
Uh, but fine, I don't, I don't mind that. I'm proud. I love white dials. But but a company goes to extra lengths to make the white dial more unique and more legible. Uh, that's just perfect attention to detail. I really, really like that. And this is what. I mean, what are you get in here that you don't get with. Christopher Ward. Well, on the Christopher Ward, what's different? You get like an enamel dial. Gloss, white, black, green, blue. There's loads of colourways. And I've done different sizes. But to me, this 39mm is perfect for me. I also prefer the 39mm version of the Christopher Ward. I'm no... 36mm is too small for me. Um, Aye. So, what else are you getting? A fully regulated, uh, hand-built movement. And it is regulated, as I've already mentioned. Uh, what else? Nice clasp, nice bracelet, nice movement. It's fantastic. Now you're paying a wee bit extra. But then, Christopher Ward, they do runs of hundreds, maybe thousands, I don't know, uh, of all their different models. So obviously, the more you order, or the more you get manufactured, the lower the price is going to be. Whereas this, this is a, no a startup brand, but they have been going for a, couple of years, maybe three or four years and it's just their attention to detail and their customer service as well because I actually contacted them and immediately I got the owner, you're not going to get that with Christopher Ward, had a, a really long conversation uh, on the phone uh, with the owner and nice guy, really nice guy and it, 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 they've got their headquarters in Belfast. It's not just some guy working out his spare bedroom or garage. They've got their own headquarters and everything. This is a serious company. They're no, it's no fly by night, some micro brand that's going to fall with the wayside. You're not going to get that with Nomadic. And I 100% think that this, even though it's more expensive, it doesn't matter, it's worth it. You could easily have this in your collection alongside the Sealander Automatic, but obviously maybe get a different colour. Um, but this, I, th I just think it's fantastic. Really, I highly recommend this watch, I really do. It's expensive, I mean, a thousand pounds, a lot of money. Uh, doesn't matter who you are, it's still a lot of money. Um, but I would say it's worth it. Definitely. I love this watch. And I've been wearing it a lot, actually. It just sits on my wrist perfectly. I, will, I took some B-roll wrist shot and... It just conforms to the wrist absolutely perfectly. Perfect. See the curvature of the actual case itself? Ah, oh, bang on. Bang on! Uh, oh, this is definitely going on my elite list. And it's also getting the Platinum Award. That's it. I've nothing left to say. Buy it. Brilliant. Right, guys, that's me. I've kind of gushed over this watch long enough. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, that, nothing. That's it. Nothing else to say. Brilliant watch. Right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. I've waffled on long enough. Right, toodles.